I am Ahmed Manzoor Sheikh Imam, President of the Allied Movement for Change, the AM4C. I have consistently, in the last seven out of ten years, as a member of parliament and or a parliamentary leader, have been in the forefront of fighting for the rights of the South African police services and law enforcement officers in the country. It is not the police officers that must take responsibility for the high levels of crime, but the relevant departments that are contributing to the high levels of crime, the socio-economic conditions under which our people live, the high levels of unemployment, the availability of taverns and shabins 24 hours a day, the high levels of teenage pregnancy, whereas 91,000 children gave birth to children, the high levels of domestic violence. And what do police officers get in this country? A disgraceful 13 rand a day danger allowed. Can you imagine which one of you will send your brothers and sisters, your children to be police officers? The moment they put on those uniforms, their lives are in danger. They're living in informal settlements and in shacks with guns protruding from their sides and are being attacked and killed by criminals. And yet there is no protection from any of government departments. I am saying, and I say it again, let's treat our police officers with respect and dignity. Let's pay, pay them with decent salaries. Let's give them the correct benefits and let's ensure that they get their promotions timelessly. Let's give them the credit that they rightfully deserve. These are our men and women in blue that are going that extra mile so you and I could be safe and secure. Something that we all as a government have failed to do. And I am pleased to announce that police officers for the first time in 31 years received a danger allowance increase, which I am saying is still insufficient. I am saying that housing must be provided to police officers closest to the police stations. Transport must be provided for them. They must be treated with dignity, with respect, so that they can continue to serve us to the best of their ability. And I want to say that not a single member in the Parliament of South Africa, other than myself, know and understand best what police officers go through in this country. And that is why I've been fighting their cause. I want to say to the police officers, the fight to ensure a better life for you with better benefits will not end. I will continue that struggle until the day police officers can stand up and benefit as a result of the contributions you are making. I urge you to come out and support me in my quest to create a better life for you.